I'm Akiko. Today I'm going to show you how to upcycle your plastic pan pot. Today I have a special guest here, Matilda, that's my sister. And first of all, what you need to prepare is this yeah, the plastic pan pot. And if you don't have this one, if you also want to use some of your plastic bottle for the recycling, um, you can also cut the top and put the tape for your safe in the lid like this, and then you can use this as a plant pot too. Yeah, let me explain you four different kind of decoration technique. This one is yeah made with those strings. Yeah, if you want to work on this one, you need to strings and PVA glue and scissors. And the next one I want to show you is yeah how to decorate your pot with sand. Yeah, you need to prepare sand from your garden. Yeah, and also this one will need a PVA group too. And the next one, I'm going to show you how to decorate with modeling clay. But you can also use that clay in your home. You can arrange what to use. This might be, yeah, useful to have some um, knives or butter knife or any kind of pottery tool if you have. And also this is would be so much fun to decorate with leaf or those kind of yeah down on the garden in the garden your garden and we will need to use a bit of water for this too. Yes if you have acrylic you can paint at the end. Yeah and the last one I'm going to show you is bake bash. You need glue it will be so useful if you could cut some cup and use as a pot for this screw and brush is also useful. Yes. And then we explain each technique. Okay. First of all, I'm going to show you how to decorate your pot with strings. Okay. Get your plant pot ready for this project and you need this PVA glue. and yes, let's start from bottom. Okay, let's start from the bottom. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult to hold it, but just on the surface. Make sure each string is attached well on this surface. Yeah. You can change your strings if you have any other color. Just put one. I'm gonna use this green one. Matilda, could you finish this for me? Okay. Yes, now it's finished. Okay, so the next technique that I'm going to show you is yeah, how to decorate with sand. Also, you, you will need this PVA group. You can draw any kind of pattern you want to. And then you see. 
some tea. Yeah, grab a little bit of sand and put them on the top. Okay, then after that, just a little bit like this until you can get out of this lump of sand. Yes, then make sure, yeah, pull the glue part, got a sand on the top. If it's not enough, please add more sand. Okay. If you want to, yeah, put another sand, yeah, you can still work on. This time I'm going to just put them in the bottle. Use your finger. Make sure the sand is covering all around it. This is finished. I'm gonna show you is take a posh. Okay, and some paper we prepare for this decoration. Um, you can also work on with any kinds of paper, for example, like napkin or even newspaper. Yeah, or wrapping paper. Yes, we're gonna decorate this one today. First, let's get some glue. So for the decoupage, it's very useful to have some brush. Before it's dry, we're gonna put this beautiful paper. Or you can even use scissors, yeah, if you want to. And you put them on the top of this. And once you put this paper on the top, don't forget to put glue on top of it. Yeah, this glue will be transparent when it's dry, so don't worry. And you can keep, keep painting this glue and covering this paper again, little by little. So I'm going to hand this to Matilde, my assistant, to finish this project. Okay, so the next technique, we are going to decorate our plant pot with this modeling clay. Okay, it's really, really easy to dry. There you can get to the size that you can cover on the surface here. And you put your clay gently. Okay, and now we need to get a bit more clay to cover on the surface. Okay. I'm gonna just 
top. Yeah, covering all the surface. You can also get a butter knife if you want. And you can cut some clay like this. And you can add in case you need to put in a hole. Yeah? Okay, at this stage the clay is a bit soft, so just work on gently and press down. Again, if you need more water to smooth this crack. Some tools maybe you can find in your garden to get some texture for example like a stone or leaf it's very fun to decorate your pot so for example stone if you press it like that you can get really nice quite nature texture Or also the leaf. You can use this vein. And again, use your fingertips gently and press it down. And peel it off. Mm -hmm. You can also work on your table. And the hole in the, in the middle. And you can start twisting like this. And you can get like a rope. To cover all around like this. Mm -hmm. and you can press it gently. Yes. Also, the last bit I'm going to show you how to make a rose to face on the top. And this time, you don't have to make it thinner, but just to get a nice sausage shape and press it. I would recommend to press down pretty strong this time to make it thinner. I'm gonna work on lovely flower. You see what is happening. Just basically roll it, roll it. Yep. Yeah. Just make sure this part get look, look like a nice petals, and you can put a bit of water to this petal and open up. Use your finger to gently again. Okay, and then on the bottom we can pinch, pinch. Pinch all around. You can even yeah, take off a little bit of clay in case if it's too big. Be lovely to sit on your yeah, pot if you want to work on with your yeah, lovely a little bit more you can also use your butter knife to 
add more texture or you can even work on yeah on the surface in case if you want to get some line all around mm -hmm. okay at the end let's put this on top of the limb like this yeah you can press down gently make sure yeah this time yeah the clay is quite soft so just be careful let's work on gently and when this roll sit well on the top let's leave it like this when it's dry you can also use acrylic to paint it when it's dry though but yeah you can start painting this thing if you want okay please feel free to yeah, arrange your favorite color yes it's a finished piece thank you so much for watching our workshop our assistant Matilda is still working on painting yes I hope you all enjoy be creative and let's upcycle our plastic lamp pot thank you so much <laughs>